Well, hello. Good morning. Salama pagi. You might think schools are closed. They are not closed. Mr. Dobson's English is open. So today we are going to have an English lesson. Now, we are going to look at our lessons for the next uh, week or so, okay? Many of you have been making comments that you want to see me teach a few lessons. So get your children, come on into the lesson. Today's lesson is about Canadian animals. Now, if you look at Mr. Dobson's lesson plan, I have decided to do five lessons in the next week or so. So, because schools are closed, Mr. Dobson's English is open. So, come on and join today's lesson. Canadian animals are what we are going to talk about today. We are going to look at Canadian animals today. Why? Well, students always, my students always like to talk about animals and they enjoy the Canadian animals. Then we are going to talk about Canadian culture. So the first few lessons will be about Canadian culture animals, life. Then we move to Indonesia. We are going to look at the Indonesian village versus the Indonesian city. Now, I am working on these lessons right now, and this is going to be a very good lesson. So please stay tuned. However, ta -ta -ta -ta, the most powerful lesson I have been developing is Indonesian women versus Canadian women. Now, I know many of the viewers in this channel want to know about Indonesian woman style versus Canadian woman style. And Mr. Dobson will bring it to the house. He will talk about it. And we're going to have a lesson about that. So, without further ado, we are going to begin today's lesson about animals. Well, why would I begin with animals? Well, I'm using material that is not copyrighted. So, that's important. So, we're not going to look at uh, videos. We're going to look at a PowerPoint. The PowerPoint is something that I created for my school, and this is really good, okay? So let's look at some Canadian wild animals, okay? Now I can see many here. Okay, now I'm, here we're going to first begin with beaver. Now you could say that that's Justin Beaver. <laughs> okay, Justin Bieber. No, this is a beaver. Follow me. Beaver. You hear the V? V, V, beaver. One, two, three. Okay, now the beaver is a very famous, and I'm going to say the most famous Canadian animal. Why? Well, that is why people came over to Canada in the first place to get the beaver and to make a hat. So they would have a hat made of beaver pelts. So the beaver is the most Canadian animal ever. Arroo! This one here is the wolf. Now the wolf, when you're walking home from school and you see a wolf, don't say, oh, look at the cute little doggy. I want to give the doggy some food. That is a wolf. He may attack you. He may eat you. So here we go. Wolf. You hear the F? Wolf. W -w -w wolf. Very good. Okay. Next. Oh, yes. That's not Mr. Dobson. That is a grizzly bear. The grizzly bear will be looking for the salmon 
there he is. There's the salmon right there. And I think he is going to be eaten for lunch. The grizzly bear, the Canadian goose. Yes, the Canadian goose is a water mammal famous in Canada. The walrus, look at his long tusks like this. The walrus, okay? The walrus is a, a sea animal. He lives on the ice and he will be hunting in the winter. <gasps> Uh-oh, no one is going to steal your food from the house except the raccoon. In the summertime in Canada, you may have to call 999 or 911, call the police because someone has come to your house and they obviously look like bandits, but they are the raccoon. The raccoon is a great animal, very beautiful, but very sneaky. This animal will not come to be your friend. He will come to steal your food. OMG, what is happening here? That is a cougar, that is a mountain lion. When you are biking to school on your bicycle, you better be careful because once in a while, a mountain lion will think you are a deer. And when you are walking to school, you may be in trouble with a mountain lion. Now, I don't know about Indonesia, but in Canada, the mountain lion in the mountains can be very dangerous. Oh, look at the elk. Follow me, elk. You hear the K, elk. Yes, look at the elk. Oh, look at his wonderful long horns. Look at that. The elk, very majestic, which means very big, beautiful animal, the elk. Oh, the badger, he's nasty. He is not looking very friendly. He will, if you go to feed him, he may bite off your hand. So you be very careful. Do not feed a badger, okay? It could be very dangerous. Oh, look at this, the salmon. Now, I love salmon, salmon. The L's a little silent. Salmon, follow me, salmon. Now, the salmon are a great source of protein. Their Canadian wild salmon are just, is, is absolutely fantastic. Wild salmon. Okay, so that is a Canadian famous, much sought after fish. Oh, the porcupine. Look at those pines there. They're very dangerous. You be very careful. Do you have those in Indonesia? Oh, I don't know. Okay, the killer whale. Now that, that is a very huge animal. Yes, it is around Vancouver. It is in the ocean. Uh, and he is jumping right now. He will eat, he will eat seals uh, for lunch. The killer whale is a majestic Canadian animal. Oh, look at the cute little black bear. You're in the woods walking, picking some blueberries, and you see a black bear. What do you do? Don't run because it will chase you. You have your bear spray. You have a bear spray. You if it comes near you because you would not be in the woods alone without your bear spray. You be very careful. The black bear. Follow the BL is very interesting uh, letters to make. Blu, blu. And then you have the K, bl, a, k, black. One, two, three, black, black bear. The black bear, yes, very, well, it's very cute, very cute. Not as cute as this one. Oh, it's so beautiful. The Arctic fox, Arctic fox. Why is he white? Why is he white? I know he's white because he is, oh, you, you know why he's white? Come here, come here, come here, a student of mine. Come here, come here, come here. Tell, tell everyone why, why he is white. Maybe to hide from the predators. Yes, he is hiding in the... 
snow. Yes, we have an answer. He's hiding in, hiding in the snow. Okay, look at that. He's beautiful. Thank you for joining my lesson. Okay, the Arctic fox is white. Yes, he's very beautiful. Oh, look at that one. That's a big one. He's called a moose. Moose. Very big animal. Look at the antlers on that. And, and you would be, have your cabin here in the summertime and walk down the street and you would see a moose in the, in the, the path in the summertime. Oh, look so cute. The bobcat. They're, they're taking a nap. The bobcats are having a nap. They're having a nap in the tree. What a cute little couple there. But if you are walking under the tree, you may be, in fact, referred to as lunch. Okay? So you be very careful when you see a bobcat. They're very beautiful. It's best to see them in the zoo. Oh, now the deer. Now these are nice. They're beautiful. These are what we would have um, roaming around when I was driving in Winnipeg. Uh, a while ago, we're driving down the street, we look, we see the deer. They're beautiful. And the baby deer is called a fawn. Yes. So the deer and who eats the deer? Well, you know, uh, wild animals will eat the deer. Oh, we have another answer over here. Come over here. You want to join my lesson again, do you? Okay. So who eats the deer? Big cats, see? Now, if your son or daughter, or if you know big cats eat the deer, then you get a special point. Ding! Very good. Oh, the red fox. The red fox is a very cute animal. The red fox. Very cute animal. Okay? The red fox. He's very beautiful. Red fox. Okay. Look at this, the snowy owl. He's going on, he's flying, he's flying. And what does he see? What does he see over here? What is this? This is a mouse. And I'm going to say, unfortunately, the snowy owl has gotten some lunch. Okay. Now, another animal is the loon. Oh, the loon. Okay, come on in here. I have another student over here. And he wants to join my lesson. He's called the loon. Yes. Okay. Let's go to one here. The caribou. Can you say that word? Caribou. 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 Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. W looks like it's somewhere in Edmonton or near in Alberta in the mountains. The caribou. Okay. Oh, the wolverine. Look at the wolverine. The wolverine is... I think some of the one of the characters from X Men is called Wolverine. Do you know why? Look at the That's look at the, look the at the claws. look at the claws right there. Those are huge claws. The Wolverine, yes, very dangerous. Would you like to have a a picnic with a Wolverine? No. No, you'd run run very fast. I would. Oh, look at that! Do you think it's a cute little cat? Yeah. Hello, cat! You're so cute. The lynx. Yeah, and guess what? Your hand will be gone, okay? It will bite you. It will take you. Come back here. One more lesson. One more slide. There's a beautiful lynx. They're in the zoo. Oh, cute. Do you know what people do to those? Unfortunately, it's very sad. That's called a seal. Follow me. Seal. They will, they will hit the seal and kill the seal for the fur. It's very sad. You don't need to kill animals for fur. Okay, it's, it's not good. Hello, little seal. We love you. You stay there, okay? Oh, hey, what you do? What you doing, little squirrel? Are you in the tree having some nuts? Oh, look at that, the squirrel. We have these in Canada. Squirrel. How to say that? Squirrel. He's having some nuts there. Oh, look at the buffalo. Now this, buffalo or the bison, is definitely from Manitoba. So this is actually, this animal here is very famous where I'm from. And yes, he is big. Like someone, like uh, you know, not me. I used to be a buffalo. Now I'm more like a caribou. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. That animal smells. Oh, oh my goodness. You cannot be near that animal. That's called a skunk. Follow me. Skunk. Skunk. One, two, three. Skunk. Okay, very good. The skunk is a very 
nasty smell animal. Yes. <gasps> the big horn sheep. Now that is, has a big horn, okay? The big horn sheep, okay? Big horn sheep. Oh, look at the otter. Oh, he wants to have a little swim. Oh, he's swimming in the water. Oh, that's so cute. Hello, otter. You're looking for the camera. Oh, you cutie little over there. Yeah, the otter is a Canadian sea animal, okay? You want to come to see these animals? You come on to Canada or go to your zoo. Perhaps you will see some beautiful Canadian animals. Oh, this is my favorite. What you doing over there, polar bear? Oh, the polar bears are having a nap. They're having a nap. Why? Oh, are you coming back to my lesson, young lady? Why, why is the polar bear having a nap, do you think? Why is that? I don't know. Do you think he just ate something? Do you think the polar bear just ate something? Yeah. What do you think he ate? Okay, you're going to show me something here? What do we have polar here? Bears what, what's what green do you, or actually black. Really? What do you have here? Lift that up. Oh, we have a polar bear. Where did you get that one from? I from Grandpa. And what do we have over here? A moose. Yeah, show the moose. So we do have our, our animals. There's the moose, okay? And you see the big horns and you see, let's put that one back. No, no, put that one back in the camera. Yeah, and this put right over here. That's a polar bear, very big. And the reason, I can tell you the reason he's sitting there is because he probably had a lot to eat. So yes, the polar bear. And that is the polar bear rep, is an animal that represents Canada. In China, you will have the panda. In the USA, you will have the eagle. Eagle. Oh. In Canada, we will have the polar bear. polar bear. What do you have in Australia? Kangaroo. Kangaroo. What do we have in Indonesia? Komodo. The Komodo dragon is one of the most powerful dragons in the world. That is why I just absolutely love Komodo dragons. Okay, so there we go. That is our show for today for uh, Canadian animals. Now I'm going to go back to look at our lessons that we're going to have uh, next time. Next lesson. Class, today's class is Canadian animals. Now I want you to remember five animals that you like. And I want you to write five sentences using those animals. And I want you to write I want you to speak those five sentences. For example, that we can do this right now. My favorite Canadian animal is ba ba ba. Okay? My favorite Canadian animal is, and then you can write the answer. Put that in the comments and tell me your favorite Canadian animal. Okay? Students, you have homework. You have to go back, watch the video again, pick out some of your favorite animals, and tell me why they are your favorite, okay? And next week, we're going to talk about Canadian culture. We may talk about Canadian culture, but if you missed that one, it's okay, because this is the big one. Indonesian village versus the Indonesian city. Village life versus city life, okay? We're gonna look, compare and contrast, look at some of this and look at some of that. And I don't think anyone's gonna be interested in this one. This might be a boring lesson. Okay, no, no, no. This is going to be the most powerful lesson I have ever done. When I make this lesson, I'm going to run away for a while because I know someone, Nick Mato Rosita, is going to be chasing me. She's going to be chasing me down the street with a frying pan saying, Mr. Powell, what are you talking about, Indonesian women? Mr. Powell, what are you talking about, Canadian women? Okay, this one here, you have to watch them all to get this video here. So I want to say to you, that is going to be a great lesson. It's going to be a great lesson. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson about Canadian animals. For example, the polar bear. There we go. Look at him. Oh, he could just come sit over me. Yes. And we've got the moose. We've got the moose and the polar bear. And they're going to just 
Oh, hello. I'm from Canada. Oh, what's your name? Oh, what's your name? Okay, so we're going to have fun. Bring your children, get them to write out the animal names on a piece of paper. Write out the animal names on a piece of paper. Give them homework. Give them some activity. Get them to draw a picture, okay? Draw a picture of the animal. Write the animal name. Write a sentence. This is not sit at home time to do nothing. You have a homework. This is a class, okay? So I want to say thank you, class, and goodbye, class. What do you say? Goodbye, Mr. Dobson, okay? Goodbye, class. Goodbye, Mr. Dobson, okay? <laughs> Whoa, that's great. Thank you. Bye-bye.